Welcome to Dynamo BIM with Python using regular expressions to search text. So often um, we have sheet indexes that have uh, phasing, building numbers, plus typical details, um, architectural, structural, mechanical sheets, and we have to sift through them, add parameters, and sort them. Um, so one good way to look through text is using regular expressions. I'm on a website called regx r.com. Um, on the left hand side it has all its references of classes, there's range, uh, white space, so here we'll do um, words, um, digits, like lower case D, uh, large case D is not digits, um, and then uh, word, not words, which will give, or which will give me the white space, um, and you can you can kind of see there's anchors to begin with, end with, um, so you can kind of really start searching through this text. Um, so this little text editor here, I, I'll just go ahead and wipe it out. Um, and what, what I've kind of already pre-done is exported all my sheets here so I can kind of test test my uh, script here, or my little, uh, um, I guess, grouping of strings. So what I'll do is in parentheses, which will be a group, um, and you can kind of see down at the bottom, it's already kind of telling me that I'm doing a digit and another digit. Um, so there, and then dash. So so I'm looking for two digits and a dash, which will find all of those numbers there inside this group. Um, it's easy enough to look for things that begin with the letter, the character A, and then a digit. Um, and then the period is not the period, but it's an, an extra character. Um, so I can do a and then a number and then any character. So this period's not looking for a period; it's just looking for a character. So it's one additional character past um, what what my digit is or my group. Um, so the star is to the end. So it'll just look for everything till the hard return. So here it's looking for all of those. But if I'm looking for s, you know, structural or mechanical or other sheets. Um, sometimes it's real useful to be able to look for, for more, more things. So here inside the brackets, um, I'll go ahead and look for the A, and um, the bar is and, um, or, I mean or, it's, it's the or, or S. Um, so that'll give me um, the S. So, but here what I'm really wanting to do for, with my Python code is just look for, for, for the A and then the, the numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, string of, or actually I'm going to get the sheets here. I'm going to get it by category and make sure that the ones that only appear in my um, in my sheet index um, are given to me. So I'll make sure that filter by bool, um, and then here I'll I'll put my regular expression um, uh, syntax that I kind of built on that website. So I just copied and pasted it after I found something that worked for me. Uh, and I'll go ahead and do the Python code here. I'll give it two inputs, um, and then I'll go ahead and wipe this out. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll use Visual Studios uh, to write the code, just because it's a lot bigger to see. Maybe it's easier on, on YouTube. Um, so what I'll do is I'll import the CLR, um, and then I'll import RE, which is regular expressions, um, to Python. And then um, what I'll do is the first input will be just the regular expression string, which I generated on that little website. Um, and then I'll go ahead and call that the first in. So that'll be my zero. Uh, and then I want to get the list of, of sheets. Um, so it'll be a regular expression list. Um, and that'll be the first one. Actually, you know what? Easier to actually call it what it is. So it's a sheet name uh, list, which are just strings of all the sheet numbers. I guess not really the name, but the numbers. Um, so I want to create an empty list to send back out to my um, my my Dynamo. Um, that way I can further on group it, manipulate it, add parameters, or do something with what I've searched for. So in the list here, what I'm going to do is for each item uh, in the list, I'm going to use, um, so I'm going to get an object of search object. Um, and then it's going to be the regular expression. And I'm going to use the search. 
and the first input it needs is the regular expression, which was the uh, regex string input on uh, n0. And then um, the string, which is the item, um, which is the, the, the sheet number. And then I'm going to go ahead and append it to my empty list so I can send it out to do further manipulation. Uh, so here I'll do a search or I'll do the search object and I'll go ahead and get the group of characters or the string that's in there that it returned back. Um, so that'll give me the group of it in a, in, a, in a string. That way I can put it into the um, element list and I'll go ahead and send this out to Dynamo. That way I can set parameters um, and do further manipulation with it. So here I'll just copy and paste this really simple piece of string. Um, I'll just go ahead and paste it. First one will, will be there, the next one will be there. And I'll just go ahead and hit run. And it gives me just the A, uh, which we we're looking for, plus the digit, um, and then a star, and then all the way to the end. So regular expressions are very powerful. Um, I advise anybody who's looking for text search to look into it. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe.